his masses for all of us and the intention for this special mass this morning is in memory of Gustavo Marin in thanksgiving for his sacred heart, in memory of Justin Lord, in memory of Sister Salisa Gonzalez, in memory of Rupert Marin, in memory of Adonis Darius Daniels, in memory of Maria Gonzalez, in memory of and Lucilla Gonzalez, in memory of Valencia Kowicz, in honor of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, in memory of Alicia Mack, and in honor of the Sacred Heart of Mary. <laughs> A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, O my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and have you rise from them, O my people. I will put my spirit in you that you may live and I will settle, settle you upon your land. Thus shall you know that I am the Lord. I have promised and I will do it, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. With the Lord, Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. 
Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my voice in supplication. With you, O Lord, there is mercy and fullness of redemption. With the Lord, there is mercy and fullness of redemption. In you, O Lord, mark, if you, O Lord, mark iniquities, Lord, who can stand? But with you is forgiveness, that you may be repaired. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. I trust in the Lord, my soul trusts in his word. More than sentinels wait for the dawn. Let Israel wait for the Lord. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. For with the Lord is kindness, and with him is plenteous redemption. And he will redeem Israel from all their iniquities. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Romans. Brothers and sisters, those who are in the flesh cannot please God. But you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the spirit. If, you, if only the Spirit of God dwells in you, whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. But if Christ is in you, although the body is dead because of sin, the Spirit is alive because of righteousness. If the Spirit, if the spirit of the one who raises Jesus from the, dead, from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through the Spirit dwelling in you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Son of God. He was to come into the world. 
Jesus has troubled the spirit, moved by deepest emotions. Where have you laid him? He asked. Lord, come and see, they said. Jesus began to weep, which caused the Jews to remark, See how much he loved him. But some said, He opened the eyes of that blind man. Why could he not have done something to stop this man from dying? Once again, trouble the spirit. Jesus approached the tomb. There was a cave with a stone laid across it. Take away the stone, she has directed. Martha, the dead man's sister, said to him, Lord, it has been four days now. Surely there will be a stench. Jesus replied, Did I not assure you that if you believed, you will see the glory of God? He then took away the stone, and Jesus looked up upward and said, Father, I thank you, having heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I said this for the sake of the crowd, that they didn't believe that you sent me. Having said this, he called aloud, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, bound hand and foot, with linen strips, his face wrapped in a cloth. Untie him, Jesus told them, and let him go free. This caused many of the Jews who had come to visit Mary and had seen what Jesus did to put their faith in him. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A little boy was asked the question, what is faith? What is faith? The boy answered, well, it's a, a conviction we have that we are obliged to believe, but there's no really truth about what it is suggests or whatever. So you can have faith, but if there's no truth in whatever, you're just flowing with the tide. Well, that's pretty bad. So for a person to see faith like that would not be good for us as a Christian people. Christians have a kind of firm conviction. They believe in a truth. They believe that there's life after this one. And they believe that Jesus Christ rose from the dead. He conquered death by rising. And this Lenten season will culminate with the great feast of Easter. Now, we are going through some trying times in Belize and also the rest of the world. There, we're going through this time of not associating the way we used to, of withdrawing, of disciplining ourselves, of getting to know people that we probably knew before. Because now, because of being at home and so forth, we're studying one another better, we are chatting and so forth, something we probably didn't do as often as before. And yet, we also have to deal with COVID-19 in our world. And we are probably storming heaven in our prayers and hoping that the Lord God will hear our prayers and for some of us to answer immediately. Now in our last reading, we heard about Lazarus dying and how his sisters, you know, they said, if the Lord had been here, if you had only been here, our brother would have died. It was a bit uh, sad and upset and disappointed and so forth. If you have been here, this would have happened. It's because they believed he could have done something for Lazarus. But Jesus, Jesus had got the message, but he act in his own time. In his own time. He cannot be forced. He cannot be pressured. God's ways are not our ways. God will not respond in time, as she just did on the occasion when he came to Bethany. And boldly he said, I am the resurrection of the life. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord. 
I believe. I believe that you are the resurrection of life. And then, she has said boldly, Lazarus, come forth. And Lazarus came forth. And those who sit around, stood around in amazement. They were amazed by what they saw. Some quite extraordinary. What does that mean for you and myself? As the people of faith, in the midst of upsets, turbulence, withdrawals, illnesses, diseases, and so forth in our world, we continue to remain steadfast. We continue the journey along, believing in the end, all will be well. The Lord God will take care of things that COVID-19 will not conquer in the end. God has gifted humanity with many gifts. I expect us to use those gifts, those talents which we have, the knowledge we have, to be of our good results. And that's the faith we have. The faith that God has blessed us, that God is concerned about our welfare, and He will not give us as orphans. He will abandon us. The Lord God will respond to the cries of His people. That in the end, all will be well. So, my brothers and sisters, yes, this Lord Lazarus, being raised to new life again, gives myself the opportunity to realize the awesome power of God. That great things can happen with God. All things are possible with God. And so, yes, we put our trust in Him. We continue to pray. We continue to seek. So now, we keep, uh, keep on asking the Lord because he tells us to ask and you shall receive. So that is what we continue to do and we pray every time we'll be able to resume our normal lives as we used to. May God bless all of you. Say the Apostles Creed. I, in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, the Son of the Lord, who has been 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 the Son of the Lord, who has the Son of the Lord, who has been 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 the Son of the Lord, Holy Catholic Church, and who is in the sins of the body and life the last day. Amen. Then I see that we have many needs. The confidence in them, we have to ask people, is our prayers, our needs, before I have the Father. that the one holy catholic and apostolic church continue to proclaim the value of human life let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that the nations of the world know the love and peace of jesus who wept for lazarus let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that those preparing for the easter sacraments Learn to die to self like Jesus in order to rise like Lazarus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick be healed, the dying be comforted, and their caregivers be renewed in spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who gather around this table reach out with love to those who grieve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray that 
for the many gifts that God has given to my Jewish, that soon they discover a remedy to wipe away COVID 19 in our world. On this we pray to the Lord. Lord, help her. Prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank for allowing us to celebrate this new grace, to give thanks and praise. And worship the Lord, realize we have a need, spiritual, material. We ask Lord God, hear these are prayers, these are petitions, those are voice, and those have the hearts. This we ask in your name. Amen. Amen. Take 
all the victory for this chalice of my blood, the eternal covenant will be required for you and for many for the sins in the memory of me. The mission of faith, the Savior of the world, for by the last resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we are to go on with life and salvation, giving thanks that you have held worthy to be the best explanation to you. And we pray that by day and body and blood of Christ, we, may be God as one, by the Holy Spirit, we have an audience church, bread throughout the world, and bring her to the place of charity, together, to cross up over the bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection of God and your mercy. Welcome them to the light of peace, the man who sees and remembers and friends. Have mercy, God, pray that the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, as well, the Apostles, and all the saints, to have peace you throughout the ages. We pray for the kingdom of the earth, eternal life, and we pray for the Bible to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, the beauty of the Holy Spirit, our glory, and our is in your heart, and ever.
Spirit. Remember God, who will always be counted by the members of Christ, in whose body and blood we have communion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Friend and dear God, bless you. Bless you, Lord, your people, who love the gift of your mercy, and grant what and the promptings you desire, and receive by your generous gift to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And Lord God, Listen, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's go for the peace of our servant, Lord. Thanks be to God. God.